When Indiana became a state in 1816, there were over 200 million acres of wetlands in the United States. Considered useless for farming, Congress passed the Swampland Act of 1850 that encouraged settlers to dredge, drain, and tile their waterlogged areas and convert them into farmland. In Indiana, over a million acres of wetlands were drained. This resulted in the decline of several wetland-dependent species, like the great egret. The destruction of the wetlands occurred at such a rate that by the mid-1970s, less than half the wetlands in the continental United States remained. The importance wetlands have in helping to improve water quality, control flooding, reduce erosion, and create wildlife habitats for migratory animals was finally widely recognized, and many of the Swampland Act's provisions were reversed. Wetland conservation became a priority. One of the success stories that resulted is the 8,000-acre Goose Pond Fish and Wildlife Area in southern Indiana the largest wetland restoration project of its kind in U.S. history. When I saw Goose Pond, it just stood out. A historical flyway to birds traveling north and south every fall and spring. Mind-boggling, unexpected, just off the charts. Oh, oh, I see it. Oh, my gosh. The different species that are showing up is phenomenal. I saw, like, a white bird thingy swoop down into the grass. This is odd, I think, anywhere in Indiana and possibly elsewhere, why there's just so many. Right, right here is right here at least better. Oh, so by coming in, planting the right kinds of warm season grasses, designing the right kinds of structures, and managing the, the water, we're going to bring in all kinds of wildlife that probably would not have been here. We've proved that these, these areas are important and that, that this part of the migratory pathway is critical to these birds. With 3,500 acres planned to be underwater, it wasn't an easy journey. It was a tempestuous crowd that was against the project completely. It was a loud crowd. It was clearly an outcry against it. They did not hide their opposition. People just clearly didn't want it. The push to get the community fully behind the project continued. It would take years as the tireless passion of a few struggled to make it happen. And it may have all just been worth it. It's a wonderful area. I'm glad it's here. Sorry so many people had to go through so much heartache. But I think if you ask those people today, was the heartache worth it? They're going to tell you, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs>